welcome back everybody to the Geek Tech Show and in today's video we are checking out which is the best Vibram 5 finger shoes that you can get for yourself. I have so many pairs and you're probably thinking why you have so many? I mean what is the point of getting so many five finger pairs? One, every single time you get a brand new pair Oh, stinky! Ooh. It's not about stinky, but really about... I love those shoes. So, first of all, which kind of Wildland Five Finger shoes should you be getting for yourself, if anything? And why should you even getting them in the first place? Well, your foot, as you walk on it, it gets more powerful, it gets more walking out just by wearing shoes how cool is that it's also more healthy because you're not stepping on the bottoms of your foot you're stepping on the toes which is the natural way for you to walk it actually makes your spine aligned and lots of health benefits of walking barefoot without walking actually barefoot because walking barefoot is dangerous in today's world so we have different shoes, they have different kind of versions of the Vibram 5 fingers. The biggest question is which one should you be getting for yourself. So this one, and I'm not going to really be naming them. The reason why, because some of those shoes I'm going to be showing you, they no longer make them. That is one of the reasons for that. But this version right here, is one of my favorite ones it's like the original version very similar to the original one and this one is all black it looks like ninja shoes this is why i like them so much but another reason is water play if you want to get wet you want to go to the ocean beach or anywhere else this is the vibram five finger shoes for you to get it's also you can feel the ground a lot of traction here you can run with them you can possibly maybe even the hike maybe and those are really good shoes. Only problem with that, they stink really bad. And to prevent it from stinking, that's the reason why you get many pairs of vibrant five fingers. Because you can't really put socks into them. Well, you can, but you still can't put your five fingers into those five finger socks. But that is besides the point. Now, in the winter, when it gets a little colder, and I mean a little colder, just a little, you can wear those right here. Those are the insulated Vibram Five Finger shoes. I like those a lot. There was problems with those. One, they're a little bit too warm for more seasons, so you can actually wear this when it's a little hot outside. So I will wear this when it is 60, maybe even up to 55 degrees. If it gets over 65, uh, I'm not gonna really be wearing them. So these are seasonal like, I mean, summer to fall would be time for you to wear. And around the springtime, I will be wearing those. They're a little bit more waterproof, water resistant, they're not really waterproof. There was no really rival one, I think, a waterproof, but this is also insulated too. I am not wearing them under 50 degrees, way too cold. And in the back here, the, the, the material is not the best. And it doesn't give you the best Vibram Five Finger experience with them. So not my favorite by any means. Those are really, I like those a lot. The biggest problems with them, less protection. They're super cold, which is great for the summertime. A little bit uncomfortable in the back, which is something I don't like about those kind of shoes. And we have so many different pairs for us to check out. So what is the next one? Next them are those. Those are some of the originals that I got. Some of the best and originals, I would say. And they're so good that I'm still keeping them in those things. What I like about them is that they're designed, they look, they feel, the way they are. The only thing I dislike is the racing system. Everyone has their own racing system. Everyone, those five one five finger, those are probably the worst kind of racing systems. If there was any kind of five one five finger that I would love to really mess up, and I mean like wear them too much and then have to trash them, it would be those. 
And those are the next ones I'm gonna start with. And I like to cycle through them so they don't stink. So when I cycle through one of them, you can run it for around two days, maybe up to three, then you put them in a washer, you wash them. Hand wash, don't ever throw this in a washing machine. Those things are gonna die very quick death. They're not made for that. The less you wash them, the better, the more they're gonna survive for the longer period of time. And the next thing about them is understand, you see this, this is the strap, strap system. I like the strap a lot more, but I love this. This is the best system out there. And too bad not all of them have them. Next year's. Oh, and those are the newest ones I got too. The Ninja. <laughs> I call those the Ninja shoes. Those are the V Train, by the way. In case you want, those are actually our selling. So in case you want to get those, the V Train are out. The V Train are beefy, beefy looking Ninja shoes, and they have the they have the double strap motion to them. I hate the double strap. I hate it because it has one is the regular strap and it got the, the, the bad strap to this. Get rid of those things. So if there was another pair that I would love to wear and destroy, this would be it. Because of the double strap, it just makes it twice as hard for you to put them on. Why would you do this, Vibram? Now when you mess up my hair though, you are actually making this more complicated than it's supposed to be. Love the ninja traction right in the back. Ninja. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. You can feel this. Ah, great. Let's see one of my favorite ones here. They're talking about the. And I think that was the. It was the Queso Evo that we had. A V O. That was, I believe, this one right here. Oh, my favorite. Alligator shoes. That's what I call those. Don't I? Alligators. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love those. Those are some of my favorite shoes. If there was any shoes that I would probably get 10 pairs of, and I would never want to run out of, it's going to be those. This is why I keep on getting this different Marble and Five Fingers. Once one of them sold out, ah, they don't make them anymore. And those have the best traction. Oh, yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Look great too. And they smell good <laughs> as well. Oh, oh, oh. Those are it. If you're gonna get one pair out of wireworms, get this. Get this pair. I'll try to link to some of it if, if any of those still exist or sell. Unfortunately, come in, go. There's no more of them. I really believe I had more pearls. I'm like cooking at this. I'm like, I think I had at least, at least two more pearls of wireworms. And I can't find them. I've, I've looked right now, it's like in the boxes. Like, man, I made this video and I missed two pearls. Oh no. <laughs> those are probably one of my favorite shoes. Those things right here. I think those are actually the e EVO. That is the EVO right here. And they probably still make those. Why I like those the most? They give you the best bell foot feeling. You're actually stepping on everything. You can feel it. You feel the arrow just go right through this. And those are the ones that you're walking on the, on the glass, on the concrete. You can feel the actual ground. Everything you step on. This is why you're getting those shoes. And with those, there's too much traction. There's just too much traction on the bottom, which is good for running, but I want to feel it. I want to feel what I'm stepping on, every single thing, everything. It's like vibrant five fingers. The only reason you're getting the five fingers is you want to walk barefoot without being barefoot in a false place. And that is the whole reason why you're getting those shoes. You want to feel as if you have nothing on. But the problem with being barefoot, step on a piece of glass, step on a bee, and with those shoes, <laughs> you can't. It gives you enough traction and it gives you enough protection that you can walk with those about anywhere. 
So this is it. This is really the, the sum up. Why do I have so many of those shoes? Not only I like them a lot, also once they stop making a specific brand and version, sometimes they don't make as good ones when they make a new version out of this. So the next thing I have to figure out to do is which is the next pair I'm just going to be wearing and trashing them. Pretty much I'm going to be wearing until they go bad. And of course I'll have to get new pairs of Wildman Five Fingers. And I have been doing this for quite some time. I've been buying and getting more and more of those pairs as they go bad. But it takes a long time, a really long time for those to go bad. In fact, the funny thing is, before they even go bad, I go on eBay those things. <laughs> That's why I eBay used Wildman Five Fingers shoes. Can you believe people actually buying used Wildman Five Fingers? shoes that are not even in great condition that is that actually speaks the mark of honor for shoes if you can get a shoe company that people are willing to pay good price once you wear them for a while and they're worn that shows you why those pair of shoes are great and the Robin for fingers is one of those pairs that you can buy you can get you can wear you can test this out for like a year or even more and then get at least three-fourths of the value for them if you know how to list them that is don't, don't really super trash them but i'm just saying they hold their value really great shoes which one would i recommend for you to get probably insulated would be my number one choice the insulated ones are great for half the season when you're wearing them they're warm they feel comfortable, lots of protection for you. The next good pair that I actually recommend for you to get would be those that are more like what kind of shoes you can wear them in the summer. If you get them wet, they're okay with that. And the last pair is the evil AVO pair. And you feel the ground, you feel everything. If you want a real, authentic, barefoot feeling. So we're back to the five fingers, well, famous on feet test. And I tell you, I'm not gonna go ahead and test every single one of them out. It's practically, they're pretty much the same kind of shoes. But the benefits of the five fingers is when you step on it, you step with the five fingers not with the bottom of your foot this is the unhealthy way people step on with the heel of those shoe and it's unhealthy because you step like this it shocks your spinal cord and it puts me it puts it out of alignment this is why it's so beneficial to get the five finger shoes when you're walking it kind of forces you to step with your toes and because of that you're walking on your muscles right here all the muscles that go all the way up on your feet and this is why it's not recommended for you when you get those to go ahead and run them for a long period of time especially if you're a newbie because your feet and your butt is going to be in a world of pain now the great thing about this is easy to put them on pretty much take them off you don't have to have anything to put them on. Ow! Oh, that was painful. And you see, this is one of the reasons why you need to have five fingers. Because you're not going to step on anything. That's painful. Put this on, and you can step on the rocks and small things. You're going really barefoot, you step on something, and it's going to hurt. And as you see, you can just pull this up like this, and that's it. You're putting this on. And now I get the benefits of stepping on anything I step and I can feel it. I can feel what I step on the ground and it, in a good way. So yes, I feel everything that I step on, but I'm not getting my feet hot because I'm not actually stepping on anything because there is some rail here of protection for you. And this is why I love the five finger shoes. And you can feel the heat, like if it's hot outside, you 
step on the ground some of them are so thin that you can kind of feel the heat vibrating through it you can feel the air when light food is as well so those are like really awesome shoes and i highly recommend for you to get your own pair because there's nothing more better than to enjoy the summer stepping on different surfaces and feeling them and how they feel and exploring different kind of environments it puts fun in a whole new level and beyond thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned something new and smash both thumbs up buttons at the same exact time there's actually one thumbs up button do not touch the other one and hopefully i own a subscription for you so subscribe and see you in the next video you will never, never know which is the next video that's coming up on this channel and if you want to see any more shoe reviews make sure you smash the thumbs up button and get your friends to smash it as well See you in the next video of the Geek Tech Show where you never know what is the next thing that's going to be shown on this channel.